everyone. Welcome to another training video from my first point of sale software. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can reprint a receipt. Um, and then if you know a uh, uh, invoice number or a receipt number, how you can look up that receipt uh, from the history. Or else if you wanted to search a receipt from a particular day, um, uh, how you can do so. First tip is, let's say you are going ahead with a sale and on the payment page you have the option to print a receipt and you just say no to printing a receipt and you go ahead and say okay. And the customer turn around and say, um, sorry, um, I would like a receipt. And your straightforward option that you have in the shortcut is that you have a button, the very last button that you can see over here kind of prints the, the last transaction. This is the most commonly used reprinting option where you miss the opportunity, opportunity to um, uh, print a receipt at the time of uh, taking the payment uh, so that you can quickly turn around um, and then reprint your last receipt. But if the sale is, if the receipt that you wanted to print is from uh, a prior transaction, let's say a couple of hours old or maybe a day or two old, uh, you have to go to uh, its sales and on the quick previews you have you by default it displays the last uh, 10 or 20 based on the configuration that you have uh, where you can select the transaction and uh, print it and uh, the other option is go to search and here you have the option to select the, the date range uh, most likely a day uh, covers a whole day where you can uh, search and list the number of transactions, uh, the whole lot of transactions that you have done on that particular 24 hours and look up the transaction that you want to reprint uh, and uh, load it up into the sales screen and just you know um, reprint it like that. So the other option that you have is let's say you wanted to uh, look up uh, ticket number 728 which is not displayed on the quick preview. What you can do is just type in 728 over here and press look up and now it's loaded over to the to over on the preview and just press uh, reprint.